All right, here you go. Ah, here we go. I right, just look at this. This is a chimney chase. And they use this wonderful vinyl siding and this fluted covering. But look right here. Do you, this is nothing but a water channel. And the water is running right down into it, right down into here and onto the roof. And in this case, it was literally running into the house because, it just, I mean, they just flushed all the water right down in it. But luckily, we didn't secure it very good because it's even coming apart as we speak. And there it is, you know, a, a, a funnel. Instead of actually trim cover or making it maintenance free, you're creating a, a water tunnel. And, uh, and, and I don't know how they didn't see that. You know what? They should have hired that guy with the rags. That guy with the rags that we saw in the other videos, he could have stuck his rag in that right here and covered that up. That would have fixed that, wouldn't it? <laughs> and then we'd be making fun of that. All right, so here we go. So we, this guy here, he worked real hard and he's got this nice this, this nice stove pipe coming out of here. And he even got a nice fancy brace up here, except they forgot to attach the brace. They just wrapped it around, walked away. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, we, it, it's, it's braced. Yeah, I gotta put bracing on it, dad. Uh, really? Okay, well, I'm about to rest. Finish it. Follow through. What does it take? Maybe you had to run out to the truck. Oh, that's what happened. He had to run out to the truck to get a screw, and he found a beer instead. <laughs> there it is. And you know I see that a lot. Believe it or not, where they start it and never finish it, I see it a lot. Now, here's a guy that uh, fixed this up, and uh, I just love how they secure these things. So what they did is that you can see this is my dryer vent. You can tell by my dryer drop here for my electrical. And uh, but so what they did literally secured that to our conduit. Um, I, I, for one, this is really isn't co-compliant in many municipalities anymore, and we could talk about that on other shows. But I don't know if that's really how you're supposed to secure something to an electrical line. But I guess all in all, you know, it's, we've seen dumber things here today, haven't we? So man, that's not one of the dumbest. But now we're going to go into Lazyville. So they did this wonderful, look at that, look at you. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. Do you see what they done here? This is a kitchen or a bathroom. And as you can tell by my toilet seat, and this is a vanity, a pedestal vanity. But you see what this is sitting on? This is the register vent. That's the register vent. Now, they put that register vent there because they wanted to heat that plumbing? Or did they just didn't think about it? No, well, maybe all that's true. But they literally ran their plumbing up the, through the registers, up through the register vents, up into the pedestal. On a register vent, uh, for one, how are you ever going to clean that? Number two, uh, I don't even know. I don't, I, well, I don't know what to say. Really? You know, if I would have came home and my wife would have saw that, she'd be having me make that phone call to them people like right now but, and, uh, and get them back over there. They probably thought that was good, but they passed that off as done. That's my point here. They thought that was done. Uh, somebody's done. All right. Oh, that plumber's done. Now, here we go. This is our steel vent. These are steel beams. In the Midwest, we use, in our basements, we use a lot of steel on our newer homes. Uh, the old homes use wood. But here's a guy that he put this together. And he's trying to join two pieces of steel beams together. Quite common, you know, because steel's so heavy, it's hard to pick up one beam. And, uh, but look here, we didn't put our bolts in here. We're supposed to, a lot of times, we bolt these together and our weld them. And our weld them. So he did, he put, the, he got the boat hoe. He just didn't have one here, but look at this weld, you know? And when I looked at it, it really wasn't a weld. It looked, what it was, it was caulking. It was caulking and he painted it and he tried to make it look like a weld, but he couldn't even caulk it to make it look good. And he sure, if that was a weld job, that guy's fired. I mean, most of that weld's not even touching anything, but uh, one beam is supposed to be welding together, two together. Nothing on this side, nothing over here, just on this side, not bolted, not welded, just caulked. But thank goodness we got this one little strap that's holding it together. Really? 
Okay, I hope that you guys ain't having no barn dance up above that there because you're going to shake that beam right on out the side of that building, which actually we see quite often, not the barn dance, <laughs> not the barn dancing, but the beam moving. But there it is. Now, oh, here you go. Now, this guy here, he's going to be probably watching this video. So he's going to probably recognize this because this is, and I'm not going to say who, but uh, it was his brother-in-law that did the work and uh, who was supposed to be a carpenter. Uh, and, and actually all the work he did was really pretty good work. So this might, I don't think this was his work, but probably one of his apprentices. But let me ask you folks, what do you think them nails are holding? Huh? I mean, honestly, what do you think they're holding? They don't look like they're holding much. Oh, it's that air wood. I just love how they hold that air wood. <laughs> oh, he's even got an arrow pointed to it saying, okay, this is where you miss with the nails right here. Yeah, uh, air wood. I love it. I, 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 anyway, he fixed that when we caught it. But here on his same house, now his brother and I had nothing to do with this one. This is a custom home builder. I was doing this building inspection. I was in, and I was at part of the stages that we'd, we'd do it into different stages. And this was actually, I saw this whenever I was doing another inspection before I was doing my framing inspection. I caught it done at the end. But you can see what they did. They literally, folks, they literally put this beam out here. They stopped it right here. This section here was missing when I saw it. They had to weld this section up here. Now you can see that's a real weld if the two pieces are together. But look here, you know, it, I mean, that, that was just literally floating in the air, just floating. And this is a very expensive, beautiful home. This was a custom builder. This isn't somebody just working out their pickup trucks. This company had been around for years and years, but apparently the carpenters thought that, uh, you know, we got air wood, we got air beams. Is there an Airbnb beam company out there? <laughs> okay, that's a bad joke. Uh, <laughs> some of you, especially this guy here, he'll understand that. That's even more funny. But anyway, but at least we got it welded on there. But what would you do? What in the world would you ever do if, you're, if, if that fell in? Because you wouldn't even have known if you didn't have a, a construction, have somebody like me coming in there and doing the inspection of it while you're being built. Brand new home. Oh, well, here we go. So, hey, so in this one here, I like this. So they run out of rags. They didn't have a rag to stick in here. So we just kind of like duct taped it or something. At first, when I first saw this here, I thought it was fly tape. Remember the old tape that used to hang from the ceilings that catch flies? I really thought that's what this was. I didn't touch it, but I didn't see any dead flies on it. So, uh, and apparently it wasn't sticky anymore, but they just kind of wrapped this crap around there and it's all falling off. And this is, and we're gonna sell our home like this and nobody should ever notice this. This is normal, everybody does this, right? Uh, no, uh, and, and honestly, I don't even know what is stopping any air from coming through. I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's supposed to be a done job. Um, and everything else looked kind of nice, but I thought that, I thought you'd notice that. But that's a, I think I, I think I noticed contractor. He did this job here too. Oh, there you go. I don't know where to run my beams or my, my all my duct work and my HVAC equipment or anything. So I, instead of just drilling a hole, I'll just tear my vent open here and I'll just stick it up into the attic that way. That ought to work. And actually, it kind of did, except when I was looking up in the attic, there was squirrels living up there. There was birds living in there. Uh, you know, heck, I, was, I, was, I, I didn't want to go any further. I had no idea what kind of animal was living in that attic. And so I just let it go. I just said, stupid contractor award, winner here. And oh, we was all laughing. It was funny. But look at that. They just literally tore the vent. That's my HVAC guy doing this. What? And no, send that man home. Because uh, apparently he doesn't know how to do HVAC, and I don't think the man's going to be smart enough to put a new vent in. So I, I, you might have to hire somebody else to do that for you. Uh, yeah, no kidding. All right, so here you go. And this is one we just did recently. And look here. This is literally a post and beam, and it's holding up an outbuilding roof. And so I guess what we did is we just found a piece of wood, Maybe, or maybe I cut it too short. I don't know. You can't outguess stupid, right? Don't even try to outguess stupid. So what we did is we, we got a concrete block. You know, of course that's on piers, you know, like what's the peering? Dirt, 
That ain't holding nothing. But hey, my concrete block's not big enough, so I put another one. Whoops, too much weight, I cracked it. So I gotta add some more concrete blocks. And uh, we can't even lay them square. We can't even lay them so they're even. Uh, so we'd put them two more. And that's still not enough, so I put another concrete block up here uh, on top of it. That's still not enough for my board cut too short. So I stick up some more crap up underneath it to try to support it. Now, let me ask you, I'm coming in late. I've already can't see what I'm doing. It's dark. I'm trying to back a piece of equipment in here. Do you think if I accidentally bump into that, that's going to hold anything? Or am I going to drop the whole roof down up on top of my head? Uh both myself and the buyer, when we looked at that, we just shook our heads. Actually, we kind of was kind of scared to get inside the, this uh, uh, this overcovering here because uh, that wasn't the only stupid thing he did. That was just at the beginning. We knew we was in trouble when we got a little bit further with it. So let's move on down. It, it, we see this kind of bracing all of the time, sadly enough. All right. So here's a guy. He did a great brick patio outside of his store, his patio door. This was one that I got hired for trip and fall. So we got hired because somebody was over at his house. He stepped outside, he tripped, he sprung his ankle, and uh, he claimed that it wasn't, uh, the patio was, uh, had, had problems. And of course the homeowner, he said, no, I don't have any problems. There's nothing wrong with that. That looks good. That looks good. Well, unfortunately, it might, he might thought it looked good. I guess uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but uh, even a blind man would think that that looks ugly. I mean, come on, look at that. And I don't know how he didn't trip, but he, hey, at least he's got a doormat here. So as that, you have something to step on. It's just on the uh, wrong side of the door. Uh, I, there it is. 